surface-to-air missile systems are critical components of modern air defense. They are designed to detect, track, and neutralize incoming airborne threats such as aircraft, drones, and missiles. These systems operate by using advanced radar to identify threats at long distances, continuously tracking their movements and processing this data to determine the optimal moment for missile launch. The interceptor missiles, guided by radar or infrared systems, are launched to destroy the targets either by direct impact or proximity detonation. And today we will compare two of these well-known systems in the world, US's Patriot and Russia's S-400. The development of the Patriot system began in the late 1960s and 1970s, with the first deployment in 1984. It was designed by Raytheon as an advanced surface-to-air missile system. Over the years, the Patriot system has undergone several upgrades, including the introduction of the Pac-2 and Pac-3 missiles, enhancing its capabilities to intercept ballistic missiles and other advanced threats. In contrast, the S-400 system, also known as the Triumph, was developed by Russia in the 1990s as an upgrade to the S-300 family of surface-to-air missile systems, designed by Almaz Anti. It was developed to provide a more versatile and capable air defense system that could engage a wide range of aerial threats, including stealth aircraft and ballistic missiles. Let's talk about their design first. The Patriot launchers, mounted on M860 semi-trailers, are approximately 10 meters in length, 2.5 meters in width, and 3.8 meters in height. Each launcher weighs around 32,000 kilograms when fully loaded with missiles. Talking about the S-400 launchers, typically mounted on BAS-640228 into eight trucks, each launcher vehicle is around 13 meters in length, 2.7 meters in width, and 3.8 meters in height, with a total weight of approximately 44,000 kilograms when fully loaded. Talking about range and altitude, the Patriot system can intercept targets at a range of up to 160 kilometers and an altitude of up to 24 kilometers, making it effective for medium to high altitude threats, including tactical ballistic missiles and aircraft. Conversely, the S-400 has a much greater range and altitude capability, engaging targets at distances of up to 400 kilometers and altitudes of up to 30 kilometers. This extended range and higher altitude capability make the S-400 more versatile and effective against a broader range of threats, giving it an edge over the Patriot system. So, S-400 clearly wins this sections. Talking about target engagement, using advanced radar and missile technology, the Patriot system can engage up to 36 targets at once. However, its ability to counter hypersonic targets, which travel at speeds greater than Mach 5, is more limited due to their speed and maneuverability. In contrast, the S-400 can engage up to 72 targets simultaneously and track 160 targets at once. It is considered more advanced in dealing with hypersonic targets due to its long-range missiles and sophisticated radar systems. Overall, the S-400's superior target engagement capabilities provide a significant advantage. So, S-400 wins here. When discussing interceptor missiles, the Patriot system uses two primary types, the Pac-2 and the Pac-3. The Pac-2 missile uses a proximity fuse to detonate near its target, creating a lethal shrapnel cloud effective against aircraft, tactical ballistic missiles, and cruise missiles. The Pac-3 missile employs a hit-to-kill guidance system, directly colliding with the target to destroy it. This missile is optimized for intercepting ballistic missiles and offers higher accuracy and lethality, traveling at speeds up to Mach 4.1, or approximately 5,000 km per hour. Conversely, the S-400 system uses a variety of missiles for different engagement ranges and threats. The 4ON6E missile is designed for long-range engagements up to 400 km and can reach speeds of Mach 14, approximately 17,000 km per hour. The 48N6DM missile is used for medium-range targets and can engage threats up to 250 km away. The 9M96E missile is for short-range engagements, capable of destroying targets within 120 km. The variety and advanced capabilities of the S-400's missiles give it a significant edge in interceptor performance. Therefore, S-400 wins again. Regarding radar technology, the Patriot system employs a passive electronically scanned array radar known as the ANMPQ-53 or ANMPQ-65. 
This radar can track up to 100 targets simultaneously and has a detection range of approximately 150 kilometers. The Patriot radar is capable of countering electronic jamming attempts. It performs all search, identification, tracking, and engagement functions within a single unit. In contrast, the S-400 system uses a combination of radars, each optimized for different functions. The primary radars include the 96L6E radar, which can detect low-flying cruise missiles and fighter jets within 300 kilometers, the Gravestone radar for tracking ballistic missiles and stealth aircraft within 400 kilometers, and the Big Bird acquisition radar, which can locate and identify 300 targets simultaneously within a distance of 600 kilometers. The S-400's radar system provides superior range and multi-target tracking capabilities compared to the Patriot. So, S-400 wins this section. Regarding mobility and deployment time, the Patriot system, though highly advanced, has a more complex and time-consuming deployment process. It consists of several large components, including the radar, engagement control station, and multiple launchers, which need to be set up separately. The deployment time for the Patriot system can take up to 25 minutes. This makes the Patriot less mobile compared to more modern systems. In contrast, the S-400 system is designed with mobility in mind. It includes self-propelled launchers and radars mounted on all-terrain vehicles, which allows for rapid deployment and relocation. The S-400 can be set up and become operational within 5 minutes, significantly faster than the Patriot system. Thus, S-400 wins again. Talking about integration with other systems, the Patriot system integrates well with other air defense assets, including fighter jets and missile systems. It works seamlessly with Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense and Terminal High Altitude Area Defense, providing layered defense. Additionally, it integrates with fighter jets for real-time data exchange and coordinated defense operations. Conversely, the S-400 system can also integrate with Russian-made systems like the S-300 and Panzer S-1, creating a multi-layered defense network. Its command and control systems share information, enabling coordinated engagements and improved target tracking. It is compatible with Russian fighter jets, enhancing data sharing and coordinated defense strategies. Overall, both systems exhibit strong integration, but the S-400's ability to coordinate with various assets provides a slight edge. Regarding cost, the Patriot system is estimated to cost around $1.1 billion per battery. This includes approximately $400 million for the system itself and $700 million for the missiles. Operational costs encompass training, logistics, and maintenance, which add to the overall expense. In comparison, the S-400 system is generally cheaper, with estimates ranging between $500 million to $700 million for a complete system. This cost includes the launchers, missiles, associated equipment, and expenses for training and maintenance. The lower cost makes the S-400 an attractive option for many countries. Again, in terms of cost, S-400 wins this section. In conclusion, the S-400 defense system generally outperforms the Patriot system in terms of range, altitude, target engagement, radar capabilities, mobility, cost, and integration. However, the Patriot system has demonstrated its effectiveness in real-world combat scenarios, such as during the Gulf War and various operations in Iraq and Syria. Its proven track record in intercepting missiles and aircraft under combat conditions gives it a practical advantage in terms of operational reliability and historical use. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.